Hi and welcome to Early Wine. Today in this video I will talk about my top 5 wineries in Santa Barbara. I really like Santa Barbara for two reasons. First, if you live in LA, you're in the middle of the vineyards in two, two and a half hours. So that's pretty accessible. Second, it's a pretty small wine region. It's a third of Napa, has about 300 wineries, mostly family owned. And so it's very cozy and you don't feel like you're uh, going to Disneyland. As far as wine is concerned, Santa Barbara is one of the coolest wine region in California. That's uh, thanks to one, the Pacific Ocean and the ocean breeze that the common denominator with all uh, great wine producing regions in California. And second, two mountain ranges that allow these ocean breeze to be funneled through the Santa Barbara Valley. As a consequence, Santa Barbara is producing a really good, cool climate, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Some of the Santa Barbara subregions are also further inland, and that allows for good Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Syrah as well. Now let's talk about my top five wineries in Santa Barbara. The top five is in no particular order, as I like different wineries for different reasons. Number one, Sanford in Santa Rita Hills. Sanford is part of a big group with numerous brands, but when you go there, you don't feel like you're in a big commercial winery. The winery is in the middle of the vineyards. The tasting room is therefore pretty cool, and the hosts are very nice and pretty knowledgeable. Historically, Santa Rita Hills uh, is the first subregion who has been planted with Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, and they really thrive there. Uh, at Sanford, I really like their Pinot Noir. It's uh, not too fruity. It's made with minimal intervention, more in a French style. They also make a killer sparkling out of Pinot Noir. My number two is Foxen 7200. So it's not the big Foxen winery in Foxen Canyon. It's a little sister. It's just next to it. Here, uh, they focus more on Italian and French blend, and I really like their uh, Merlot and Cap Franc blend, their Merlot and Sangiovese blend, and their Merlot and Petit Verdot blend. Uh, as many wineries in California, they grow some grapes, but they also source different grapes from different regions. In this case, they get their grapes from Happy Canyon, Happy Canyon is on the far eastern side of Santa Barbara, further inland, and doesn't benefit from cool ocean breeze. And that really allows the varietal to fully ripen, varietals such as uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Syrah, or Sangiovese. Number three, Brander. It's one of the first winery I visited uh, when I went to Santa Barbara for the first time. It's fairly small, uh, family owned. Their tasting room is pretty nice. It feels like a cottage or country house and they make great wines. I really like their Sauvignon Blanc Au Naturel. It's uh, made in a French style. It's really balanced with high acidity and some minerality to it. They also make a great Cabernet Sauvignon. Number four, Story of Soil in Los Olivos. It's a pretty small uh, producer. They don't grow their grape. Uh, they source them from different growers. The husband is managing the tasting room and the wife is the winemaker. She really uh, favors minimal intervention. She wants to let the terroir speak and their name, Story of Soil, and they make a great Gamay, which is very unusual for California. Number five, Palmina Lavoie in Los Olivos. Uh, there are two wineries that share a tasting room in Los Olivos. The good thing is that usually they close later than the competition, so if you want to hit a last winery before uh, heading back, it's, uh, it's a great choice. Uh, 
Palmina is doing great blends. I really like their Sangiovese uh, Cabernet Sauvignon blend. And Lavois is influenced by the French style of winemaking. And they make a really great Chardonnay with no butter, uh, minimal oak, and high acidity. Of course, there are other wineries that I enjoy and probably dozens of wineries that are great, but I didn't have a chance to do yet. For instance, I learned recently that uh, Master Sommelier, former restaurateur Rajat Parr, uh, created a winery, Domaine de la Cote, that does a killer Pinot Noir. I also would like to try Folded Hills near Gaviota that has been recommended by a friend. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't hesitate to uh, leave me a comment and let me know what is your favorite winery, what is your favorite wine. You can also let me know uh, what topic you would like me to discuss. If you're interested in learning more about wines, building a wine collection, uh, interested in classes or wine tasting, you can go to my Facebook page, Auto Wine. As usual, enjoy your wines, but drink responsibly. Cheers! <laughs>